hello friends welcome to my channel so today i'll be talking about we can save list with data for offline purposes in json format you can also save it in txt format or whatever format you want even as a pdf format you can save it and later get it back to list view but today to be on saving it as a json file so if i have if I have an empty list view and I'm passing list view like this, some of us may be getting list view data from Firebase, so it doesn't matter it's the same thing. So if I have this data, so the number of data doesn't really matter. In my next activity, I don't have a data so if I have this data and I click on my save button and I go to offline mode see the data is here and I've saved the data as a file in sketchware as a file in my in my phone so I'm going to show us how we can do this in sketchware so I save it as a JSON file I just save it without even using the extension so the first thing I did was to create my schedule project and I added added the list view widget with two custom views so you can name your custom view anything Inside my custom view, I added to a text view in each of the layouts. Then in my activity main, I bind the views like this. I bind the views. So in our by custom view, so I go, I'm setting data based on the data on this view. I'm going to set so when the button click send the button is clicked when the send button is clicked we're going to add the data we're going to get the data in the in the text view in the edit text and pass it to a map then we're passing the map to the list map then we're passing the list map to the list view so so please you need to take notice of this key Need to take notice of this key this is the key we are going to use to retrieve the data from file part and this is the key we are so also going to use to get the data to list view so if you make mistake the app will crash like i said this that is the key we are using so that is the key i used that is the key the when button save is clicked We're going to get the data in list view i'm going to string it to a string and we're going to make a, a part where we save it so i save it i first created my folder to my to my package directory which we save in the data directory of every phone of a user then i'm writing the, the string to my file part so you can write it as json json Then when we are retrieving it, added a list view and I bind it to my view. I bind it to my view. Then the unbind custom view is the same with the one in the previous activity. It's the same thing. Then on create, I will check if the path exists. If it exists, if it exists. If the file really exists, then I'm going to save the file to list, list map, then pass the file to list view. Then if list view, if the list map is empty, that means there is no file, then we're going to say we're going to toast no offline data. No offline data. So you can toast any message 
telling user that they have not saved any data for offline or you can see offline list is is empty thank you guys for watching this video it really is really encouraging to see when you post a video and it's being watched thank you for watching please subscribe to keep me motivated and every video comes with a tutorial with a project sorry and this project i upload them i upload all my projects here so you can get all the previous projects to to download not just downloading but to learn so when you download you see what I do, you compare what I, I say on the video and what is actually being done so you can use it for other projects. Thank you for watching once more. Please subscribe.